All right, September 21st, we're here at 3247 West 64th with Chris Castro and I, and we're doing a, a bid on this property. So first thing it needs is they need landscaping. We're gonna have to do a lot of weed kill or go over this with plastic and then go back over with rock. We need to remove the driveway from there to there and, uh, and pour a new driveway. We'll take out all this fence keep the actual structure but take out all the mesh including on both gates and then we'll um, we'll ring that and fasten cedar to it all the way down the roof looks good it just needs a couple of structural supports probably up in that area there we'll take out the soffit and the carport we'll re-skim coat the entire exterior of the house we'll put uh, some post out or frame out these posts so they're a little beefier and have a better presentation then we'll skim coat the entire house, pull all the windows and, um, and doors for a finish. We'll take out this back patio here. We're going to demo this door here and frame that in for, a, for the kitchen. More windows to be taken out, more skim coat to be done. Demo this entire pad, like I was saying, get our grade right. Demo this out here. Uh, continue this French drain around and have it pour out. The back uh, garage here that was existing, we'll go ahead and demo out all around where the brick was so that we have access to the footer. And then uh, we can go ahead and frame on that. We need a new electrical panel. And then all this needs to be graded again and set, clean out the entire area. It had grapes on the property, which is pretty amazing. So we need to do do some lattice work over there, over there where Chris is. And going inside, demo all this paneling, take out this wall here so that we have an open kitchen. So it'll be an L-shaped kitchen going there and there. And then I'll have an island right here that kind of opens up into that area. This wall will be brought this way to add room for, for uh, another bathroom slash three-quarter bath. We'll take out this entire wall so that this is all open through here. Keep the bedrooms pretty much the same configuration. We just need to clean them up and paint them. Okay. Keep all the doors. We'll repaint the doors, tear this out, put in a tub, take this out. New, new vanity, new tub, shower, etc. Tile floor. Um, we'll have new carpet throughout. Keep these existing built-in cabinets. This will all be carpeted, new windows, new windows. I'll refinish the doors and the trim. Okay, tear out the carpet, take out the windows, windows, new flush mount, paint the doors, new hardware. Uh, keep the vents, they're in place. Okay, that of course will be all open because that door, that wall right there is getting torn out. So this will all be open through here coming into the bath and the bedroom. Then in here we have our existing laundry. So we'll go ahead and demo this whole area, and that wall will go that way, about two and a half feet, to make for a, three, a bathroom with a shower, an entry, and then a vanity and a toilet. And then as you walk in, and then this will be a stackable washer dryer. This will be demoed out, and you'll have your walkway through here with a little bit of uh, railing and a couple pickets, and then down your stairs and into your basement. That's where you're, you'll have your shower, so this is all gutted. You'll have your toilet, your vanity, your shower, and your entrance. Then it'll be walled here and there, and this will be the walkway passing through. Going downstairs into the basement, we'll wall this off so that we can have a full bedroom down here. Go ahead and cut that out for an egress window and then frame in over here for our closet and then underneath the stairwell will be a nice size closet. Then we'll actually put on this west wall, we'll cut out a door and entry for the bedroom. In the rec room here, we'll go ahead and frame up all the way around the exterior walls so that we have electrical and the end insulation and then tear out all of this and uh, refinish the lid, the ceiling, okay? New windows as well, there, there, and of course the egress in the bedroom. 
Now, in the mechanical room, which doesn't have any power, we need to put in a sump pump and then a catch about uh, eight feet along the south wall. And that's it.